Originally, it upset me when I found out that the Twitter account ElonJet, which posted real-time publicly available information about the whereabouts of Elon's private jet, was suspended. Suspended for a week, I believe, but still they got suspended. The reason why this initially upset me is because Elon originally said that he wasn't going to touch that account. But now that Elon is hated by so many people and has so many enemies, his life is in danger. So I can understand him not wanting people to post his real-time whereabouts. He seems to have suggested that if there's enough of a delay in these posts, that it's not going to pose any sort of risk to him. Apparently, journalists and media pundits like Keith Olbermann and Matt Binder were suspended, you know, for a week or so, for posting doxing information. Elon's defense of this practice towards these journalists is that journalists are just like everyone else. They don't get a special pass for behavior for just being a journalist. If they post something that could get them suspended, they're not going to be treated any differently than anyone else. The way that many media sources are spinning this is that Elon is suspending journalists for criticizing him. Yeah, doxing isn't criticism. That's a pretty big piece of context that's missing from these stories and headlines. Equality is supposed to be, or apparently it's supposed to be, the goal on Twitter. Treating everyone the same. No matter what kind of celebrity you are, no matter what position you're in, no matter what stance you take on social issues, you should get treated the same by the platform rules themselves. To coin a saying that's usually used in a completely different context, when equality feels like oppression, you know you're used to privilege. Just saying.